had some requests this week and just so happens that the SEC is extra, extra diligent this week. So uh, the question was, is Cardano a security? What qualifies as an investment contract? If there is an investment of money in a common enterprise with a reasonable expectation of profits to be derived from the efforts of others. So we're going to go through this and then some of the, this is the definition and then what they're actually taking legal action on. Situating blockchain and cryptocurrency, digital currency projects with investors and project backers. Four criteria, investment of money, common enterprise, expectation of profit to be derived from the efforts of others. I always like to get the official documentation, otherwise it's open for interpretation by the author of the article. This is the biggest issue with legal definitions, is the interpretation of said definitions. So undoubtedly digital assets can be securities if they meet the Howey test. On this point, the SEC has been very clear. Tokens issued by the unincorporated organization known as the DAO were indeed securities under the Howey test. Typically ICOs, there is an expectation of profit. The marketing highlights this expectation by having the price on the website as well as roadmap items. And the same company or entity that is putting on or raising the funds is the same entity that is developing the project and the same entity that is marketing the project. Centralized one entity. Custody of digital assets is a big issue that they're highlighting here which requires financial licenses, right? Bank, think of a bank, why it's so difficult for them to deal with cryptocurrency companies and in the secondary markets. So this is where they're claiming that we're skirting the regulations because we're going to secondary markets, et cetera. So first prong of how we test typically satisfied an offer and sale of a digital asset because a digital asset is purchased or otherwise acquired in exchange for value, dollar value whether in the form of real fiat currency or another digital asset. So common enterprise, basically you're investing in a company that is going to build a project that is going to lead you to making money is what they're claiming is the security. Does the purchaser reasonably expect to rely on the efforts of an alternative party? Uh, are those efforts the undeniably significant ones, those essential managerial efforts which affect the failure or success of the enterprise? Is it driven by the community or this one select team? So to start off with Cardano, we went and saw what is a security? What is the definition of a security? Most ICOs fall under that definition. That's where we have to be very careful We're coming from not just who's raising the funds to the distribution model. Digital currency, big definition there. So that's that if it's a currency, it is not a security, does not fall under SEC jurisdiction. Secure exchange of value. That does not mean that they are holding it to get rich. They are exchanging value without requiring a third party to mediate the exchange. Every transaction is permanently, securely, and transparently recorded on the blockchain. Not held by the company. You own your own private keys. You do not have someone else holding them for you. Every Cardano holder also holds a stake in the Cardano network. Cardano stored in a wallet can be delegated to a stake pool to earn awards. Supporting the network, very important. To participate in the successful running of the network or pledge to a stake pool to increase the pool's likelihood of receiving rewards, in time Cardano will be usable for a variety of applications and services on the Cardano platform. So you can delegate your stake to somebody that is working full time to run a node, putting in work. This is not necessarily an entity of Cardano. This is someone in the community that is putting in work to ensure that the network is supported. Contribute to the decentralization keyword of the Cardano network. So Cardano represents a stake in the network without or with the size of the stake proportional to the amount that Cardano held. Risk to reward, uh, you are taking personal incentive, personal financial risk to support a project without anyone else doing that work for you. Key, very key. Uh, the ability to delegate or pledge a stake is fundamental to how Cardano works. Supporting the network, supporting the project, not one entity. 
Two ways a Cardano holder can earn rewards, delegating their stake to a stake pool run by someone else or by running your own stake pool. For those that aren't familiar with running servers, it's not like you can just turn it on and it runs forever. There's maintenance, there are parts, there's there's moving pieces, there's replacement parts, there is you know electrical items that burn out, there is peak performance, and then there is wasted electrical energy. Right. So there is a lot going on. You are receiving a reward for putting in that effort. End of the story. There are many individuals who are supporting the network, putting in work to support the network. This would constitute a community. This would constitute a team of people that are diversified, that are decentralized, that don't necessarily know each other, that are putting in work to make sure that, make sure that Cardano is secure. The SEC is claiming that people are earning rewards for putting in zero work and relying on the work of others, which if you're delegating your stake, you know, it could be a reasonable claim. But at the end of the day, you have to put in work to make sure that the validator that you're delegating to is the right one. Otherwise, your Cardano can be slashed. There's penalties to choosing a bad validator. It's not that there's zero effort or zero work put in. It's that your role for that vote is a little different. You're delegating to a representative that you trust. The SEC has to prove different. Designed for mass participation, built for secure decentralization. It's kind of like Bitcoin. Bitcoin, technically, the technology is lacking as well, if we want to be you know, super clear. Bitcoin moves slow. It is super decentralized. You cannot move fast and be decentralized. The documentation is dry, um, but this is very important to the end all conclusion. The other thing I'm looking for here is a team. So community, ambassadors, all this constitutes a team of a community of people working towards that common goal. Big thing that they're claiming is there's one. So three key partners that play pivotal roles. So there is effective, it's not hugely decentralized, but that's also where defined decentralization, right? That's where we're at basically with the SEC, their definition of what constitutes a security does not fit in with a lot of this claims. The reason we're looking at the Cardano updates is because we're seeing who's developing Cardano. Is it one person, one guy working on the wallet, one guy working on nodes? like? Not just one, but there's quite a few developers here. Does not belong to any branch in this repository fork outside of the repository. He does not have key access. So a lot of this is basically saying like the SEC's argument is basically null and void. I mean, do we see anywhere on the website where there's a price? Is the other big claim? Is there something telling me that I invest in Cardano and it's going to go up? There's nothing like that. Asset gives the holder rights to a share in the enterprise's income or profits. As far as anything I can tell, there's nothing saying that they are investing profits back into buying Cardano. Buybacks, stock buybacks is something that securities do. Unless there is significant proof from the beginning, from the token launch, from the IDO, ICO, on how this was released, there's sufficient evidence saying that these guys are decentralized. They are a currency. I cannot personally verify and guarantee that the way that Cardano was initially distributed did not constitute an investment contract. That's the only questionable thing for me. XRP is going to be a very much tell-all tale on how some of these laws and regulations are interpreted by the enforcing agencies. Uh, as well as what kind of power these agencies are going to have. They've claimed Ethereum is not a security. We'll go to a fork of Ethereum. And all these EVM chains are just forks of Ethereum. Ethereum has been claimed, deemed non-security. So now you have to prove why these others are different. Mm -hmm.